and welcome back to our coverage from CES brought to you by MPB. And we're now at the TCL stand. I'm with Marek, who is a very familiar face to those regular viewers out there. Marek, great to see you. Happy New Year. And um, what a great stand you have this year. So at uh, TCL, we have, I think, uh, the largest booth ever uh, with uh, focus on mini LED TVs, uh, with focus on uh, latest innovations in uh, screen technologies. So welcome and you will see everything. OK, so let's go and have a stand tour. So we're standing next to the 115 inch. This is getting a lot of publicity at the moment. The largest mini LED TV that you can go and buy. Yeah, so the product uh, you see, uh, we hope to show you this product when you join our expert meet experts event in November, but it was a bit too early. So finally you can see it at uh, CES. Uh, the product will be introduced in Europe uh, in the end of Q1, beginning uh, Q2, with, I think, a spectacular specification, uh, like uh, 5,000 nits uh, peak brightness, like 20,000 dimming zones. And, uh, of course, uh, with the size, uh, you see 115 inch. Uh, so uh, we talk about uh, almost three meters of diagonal and a uh, huge screen. So in Europe, do you know what the model number will be? This one in Europe will be 115 X uh, 955. So we just extend the range of X 955 from 85, 98 uh, to 115. So we're a little bit early for European specifications, European models, but the US models have been released. So maybe talk us through some of the technologies and what you can expect to see in Europe. So uh, here you see that we already announced uh, products for US and then uh, there is uh, logic between these products and European products. But uh, what you can expect, uh, what we will announce uh, this year, uh, so in going from top range X95, you know, uh, then uh, there will be C8 range where you can expect uh, uh, higher brightness, more dimming zones, uh, because uh, TCL is focused on mini LED products. Uh, then uh, CE805 is already on the market and the product will remain as the most accessible mini LED product. And then going down you will see also higher brightness in products and a lot of uh, new functionalities, uh, which I think is uh, the way this industry lives. So it's going to be large screen TV, that's the way the industry is going. You've, you've now brought 98 inch TVs to the market. One in the UK is selling for £2,000. How is that possible? How can you get a 90 inch TV at that price point? And are projectors dead when you're talking about a TV of that size? Uh, you saw uh, during the event that when we compare it uh, with uh, projectors, uh, so then uh, there is really no way to compare because uh, we outperform uh, projectors uh, in all aspects. And if we try to compare this 115, uh, even uh, also there is uh, no way uh, to compare. But uh, coming back to your question, uh, 98 inch uh, we uh, have from TCL our sister company. And uh, then if you look on the market worldwide of 200 million of TV sets and we take uh, what 200 uh, up to 300,000 of 98 inch uh, sold uh, worldwide uh, so this is just uh, one month production of one line in the CSOT so uh, when we uh, take all the volume uh, from uh, all the brands and put it together so then it means that uh, this uh, new price points and the new segments are possible AV Forums CES 2024 coverage is sponsored by MPB. They are the simple, safe and circular way to trade, upgrade and get paid for gear. Visit mpb.com to see what they can do for you. So Marek, we move around to another part of the stand. Uh, two concepts to show, so maybe you could talk us through those. Sure, so we already show uh, panels uh, which we will use next in next year products. So next year means uh, 2025. Uh, one of them uh, you see behind me, it is uh, wide uh, HVA technology. Uh, so W means, as I said, wide. So uh, you see very wide viewing angle. So even if you move uh, many degrees uh, from the center, there is no degradation of the brightness, contrast, all color gamut. And then the next one is super narrow bezel. 
uh, you see that the panel is already ready with a very, very narrow bezel. So it's not just the panel for very top end products, but the panel which will come also to the market. So we've, uh, we've moved around to another area of the stand, Marek, um, sitting in your car. Tell us a little bit about what we're looking at here. So Phil, the first time we can drive the car uh, at CES uh, on a TCL bus, but what we show here is we show the future, how, how it will look like. So we have filler to filler LCD screen with mini LED backlight because we need a very high dynamic range to be able to adapt lighting conditions. Uh, we have also head up display. Uh, here uh, we can uh, we can see uh, all the guides and so on how we drive and we have also transparent OLED screen. All this comes from uh, CSOT so we show that uh, CSOT is not only to produce screens for TV sets or for uh, IT or for mobiles but uh, the future is also for the future cars uh, and then all the screens you can have in the car and not as many screens but you see as one very wide screen uh, which is uh, as uh, wide as your car. I've just seen a massive micro LED TV so let's go have a look at that. So uh, on the site uh, you see that uh, this is also available uh, we show that uh, the future is uh, uh, Injet printed OLED, but also in many years from now it can be uh, micro LED uh, technology. Uh, here I think it will take a bit of more time uh, because of uh, mass transfer uh, challenges for very large screens, but we have already micro LED glasses uh, which are uh, ready for production. Uh, so, Marek, thank you very much for showing us around the stand and showing us all the technology. And we're standing in front of the 115 inch. And I want to give you this. This is our best of CES award for thank the 115 you. inch. Great. So uh, thank you for your recognition and recognition of TCL Mini LED technology. But as why we focus on Mini LED because of uh, its ability to deliver different sizes. So we are not limited by the size uh, due to the brightness, uh, both peak brightness and average brightness. And uh, also uh, because of light efficiency and the fact that it has uh, the lowest power consumption versus number of needs it can deliver. So once again, thank you for your recognition and recognition of our world. Thank you very much, Marek, and come back and join us for more CES videos very soon.